Okay, so the first thing as we discussed was obviously set up. We yeah. said number one posture was certainly getting very rounded, yeah. which restricted your body's ability to turn, so the swing therefore had to be done with the arms. If we look now at this one on the right, you can see your back's a lot straighter. Yeah. You just look in a better overall position there. You've got a chance now for the golf club to work again. We're trying to swing this golf club up along this line. Okay, if I do mm. a different line for this one. This was where your green line was there. Now, if we watch this club on the left-hand side as it goes back, you can see it going back very, very low and what mm. we call flat. You're not getting that club hinging up. So this angle here now that club is on, hitting the ground is pretty impossible. Mm. Okay, It's mm. doable, but mm. makes it very, very difficult. Hence mm. the reason why when you're really good, mm. it's good. When you don't, it's so good, it's not so good. Okay. Right. If we compare that back swing position there now to this on the right, as that club's going back and you're hinging the wrist there now, so you hinge the wrist here, mm. That club now you can see is nicely parallel mm. and lying down towards the golf ball. So now you've got the club in an angle in which you can hit the ground. You haven't mm. got to try and adjust or mm. compensate mm. or make any adjustments. And again, look at the difference in length. That's your back swing first on the left hand as far mm. as it was going. Just by physics, that along mm. the back mm. is going to give you mm. more power. As you come back to the golf ball now, lovely strike as we can see the ball there. Sort of sailing down the range of that blur there going towards sort of 150 mm. and right the way through to a finished position. Very much at the moment now, it's all sort of stopping at the ball yeah, there when you come yeah. through. But that's something I think that will change in time. Yeah. Very often we see golfers who have probably not the most confidence in their ability, mm. okay, because of history of some of the shots they yeah. had. It's almost that fear of, I don't want to do too much because the more I do, the worse it will be. So I'll yeah. just sort of hit the ball and stop. Yeah. I think in time, when you start striking it better, yeah. we'll start seeing a bit more twist right. with the body, which again will increase the yeah. distance. Yeah and as well increase your consistency because what we want to try and do is get the club, the body, both top half and lower half and the arms and hands yeah. to swing together, not just one movement with yeah. the arms and nothing with the body. Yeah. But again, because you started from a position where your body couldn't really move, you've not really been used to doing that. No. Okay, So you've yeah. always got someone to hunt. So the static changes, we can certainly say now from one to the other, I would say so the, the posture's ticked, we can get a much better posture there. We need to work now on this wrist hinge, and I'll give yeah. you a couple of practice drills to sort of work on there. One quite simple one is start with the golf club as it is there now, yeah. and then just hinge your wrist straight up, okay? So the club gets to there. So we yeah. start here and just hinge yeah. it straight up. So you get used to how the wrist hinge. There's no rolling or folding or twisting of the right. wrist. It's just a hinge straight up in the air. And if we got there and then just turned your body, the club then would be on that line there, right. okay? Compared to this, so I say where the club just goes back very much to that yeah. left wrist, we can see now is sort of really going on, called bowing yeah. underneath. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't go back any further anyway, yeah. so very restrictive in the swing. Okay, yeah. does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Perfect.